Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today we're in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and we're going to drive Government Street from beginning to end. We begin in the Baton Rouge Central Business District at the Mississippi River and head east. To the right, St. Philip Street and St. Louis Street each carry one direction of LA-30 in a couplet. This intersection is the northern terminus of both LA-30 and LA-73, and LA-73 will stay with Government Street for most of its length. We drove most of Government Street back in 2016 while following the length of LA-73, but we were alerted by viewer David J. Robbins that some upgrades have been made, which you'll see once we get past I-110. Government Street runs down the center of the Beauregard Town Historic District, the second oldest neighborhood in Baton Rouge. Here we pass under Interstate 110, a spur route of I-10 that extends north through Baton Rouge to eventually end at US Highway 61. After this, we'll begin to see some of the upgrades to the roadway. In 2016, most of Government Street east of I-110 was a four-lane undivided road, but now it's been reduced to one lane of travel in each direction, with a median and the occasional directional or shared left turn lane in the center, as well as bicycle lanes in each direction. While it may seem like a bad move to reduce the number of travel lanes, traffic was light and it does improve the overall appearance of the street. As expected, not a single use of the bicycle lane was recorded in this video. At South 22nd Street, we see the southern terminus of LA-67, which becomes Plank Road and eventually reaches the Mississippi state line to the north. The route is still marked on Government Street with one of the old obsolete Green State Highway markers.
At Acadian Thruway, we see the northern terminus of LA-427 on the right. As we approach South Foster Drive, the roadway widens to two lanes in each direction with a center turning lane. After crossing South Foster, we'll keep the second lane in our direction of travel as LA-73 prepares to diverge from Government Street. Here, Louisiana Highway 73 becomes Jefferson Highway and turns off to the right. From this point on, Government Street doesn't carry any highway number and will reduce to one lane in each direction with a mostly shared left turn lane in the center and the occasional landscaped median.
ahead is the end of Government Street at an intersection with Lobdell Boulevard. A newly constructed roundabout dating to around 2020 controls traffic at this intersection. We're going to continue straight ahead after the circle onto Independence Boulevard. Here you can find the Independence Community Park which includes a recreation center, tennis courts, a senior center, botanical gardens, the Independence Park Theater, and the East Baton Rouge Public Library's main branch. Additionally on the left is the Louisiana Department of Public Safety, the Department of Motor Vehicles, and the Louisiana State Police Headquarters and Training Academy. Independence Boulevard ends at East Airport Drive, so named because the area of Independence Park and the State Public Safety Facility was the Baton Rouge Downtown Airport until the late 1970s. We conclude our video here. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 road trip.